Hello Youtubers and welcome back! Today I introduce how to use Sandboxy with Aster. So let's check us out! In the beginning we'll check how to download the Sandboxy software. You can do that by entering the link sandboxy.com the link, of course, will be in the description and you can select 32 or 64 bits I'm pretty sure you will need 64 bits and the installation is pretty simple, just next, next, next Ok, so now, like you see, we'll launch the game on one computer we do that only on one and the game run normally like it's normal do. Then we launch again and yes, it's launch just another one. Just like that. And we can do that also tier four, five, how much you got RAM and CPU. But sometimes it doesn't work. I mean uh, launch the second game or software on the program. So you can go right click your mouse and select run sandboxy. And here you can select to run as administrator. Sometimes it's necessary. It's very rare, but sometimes you need it. How you can recognize it? And by yellow bar and the hash in the name in the bar. Just do that on your second workstation. In new Windows, by after you update your Windows to the full, you got Windows Sandboxy. Let's launch it. It's work pretty nice, but it's not work directly from your hard drive. It's totally virtualized, so it's uh, pretty good for test some strange software and etc. That's why you see the Windows is not working smooth. And this is how work Sandboxy. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Hey, you don't know what program I use to play multiple games using one computer, but two or more screen, keyboard, mouse, etc? Go check that site for learn more. Also visit Aster Forum, on which I post a lot, lot more games and programs. All links will be in the descriptions. If you like that video, be sure you press like button. If you, with some reason, don't like it, let me know in the comments. Maybe next time I will be better for you. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.